Another edition of Thursday Night Live with yours truly, DJ Steel, live in the mix. Here with my other DJ MV. Shout out to everybody tuned in from across the country. You know, we welcome you as always, man, on a Thursday night. Oh, man. 87760 Hip Hop's the number at DJ Steel TV, at DJ MV, of course, on the Twitter. And we're going to jump right into it, man. I got a special guest in the building, the homie by the name of Critical. Critical, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's well, welcome to the homie Critical. What's up, brother? Yeah, what's good? What's good? What's going on, man? It's good to have you here. Yeah, man. It's good to be here, man. Out here in uh, the NYC. It's cold, though. Yeah, man. So <laughs> it's cold. So, you, so you're not used to being out here? Um, Nah, man. It's my first time out here. Okay. First time, man. We welcome you. We welcome you. Now, where you from? Sacramento, California, man. 916 City of Trees, man. Okay. Cali, Cali. Yeah, you hear yeah. that? Everybody from Cali, man, hit us on the Twitter right now. You got a Twitter? We're going yeah, yeah. to start it off early. What's the Twitter? At critical, you know what I'm saying? Spell that for them so they know. At K R Y T Y K A L. Okay. Type that in, man. Talk to me, I'll talk back. Hey, everybody from Cali right now, hit us up on that Twitter. So, what's going on, man? We welcome you to New York. It's your first time. Yeah. Now, for, for those people who don't know, I've been spinning, spinning his joint for a couple weeks. You know, I had his joint. What up, though? <laughs> what up, I've though? been spinning the, 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 the wall joint. The the the, uh, the panel the wall joint, uh, you know what I mean. Been getting a lot of good response on the Twitter, so I wanted to bring you up, so you know, introduce you to the people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So how'd you get started out rapping, man? Uh, I started out about about 15 years old, man. I listened to like a whole bunch of like No Limit, you know what I'm saying, Mystical Twister, all of them, man. Mia X. Okay. You know what I'm saying. And okay. Just, I just went from there, man, and tried it out. So you it you worked. were you were a big supporter of the whole No Limit movement yeah, with Master P and them was popping man, and was getting all that down, money. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. No, I hear that. I hear that. I had like every tape though. Okay. Okay. So so you've been rapping for a while. Um, I've been writing music for a while since I was about 15. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. All right, man. That's what's up, man. You got the mixtapes out? Um, nah, not currently, but I'm working on one that'll be out pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got some joints, man, heating up. So if you be speaking of joints, we're going to get into one of your joints. You know what I mean? Pretty soon you, you'll be able to put this mixtape together and get it rocking, man. All right? Yeah. The boy Critical's in the building. Sirius XM Hip Hop Nation. DJ Still DJ Envy Thursday Night Live. We're going to get into this new joint. Well, not a new joint, but it's it's fairly new <laughs> to the people. But it's, 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 you know what I mean? It's not new to you, of course. It's called What Up, Though. What up, though? You want to intro it right fast for us? Yeah, man. Check out my hit single title, What Up, Though, by your boy Critical the Problem. Let's do <clears> it. <throat> what up, though? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you got a few joints out. Who do you see yourself working with in the future? Or is there anybody, you know, a big artist that you would love to work with? Anybody on your dream? I mean, like on your dream list, you know what I mean, to work with? My dream list is kind of like everybody. Like, yeah, like, everybody, yeah, anybody. You know, like, yeah. yeah. Everybody like, or anybody. Scarface it's is a big one difference. of them, though. I love to work with Scarface. Scarface, yeah, okay, OG. Definitely, yeah, I'm OG, 50 Cent. Okay. Um, uh, T.I. Okay. A little bit of everybody. <laughs> okay, wait. Now you name some of the older guys. You know they're still doing their thing in the game, but what about some of the newer guys like Rich Homie Quan? And... Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. I, I like that track though. Um, and what's the name of that joint? Uh, some type of way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's Hard. a good joint. Yeah, yeah, that's a good joint. Some real stuff too. Okay. All right, man. We're gonna see you on some different collaborations. Yeah. Now, one more question for you about just about the game and about signing. What do you think now? A lot of artists out here today are, are you know, choosing to go independent, right? Mm -hmm. Versus signing with a label. Do you think that's more beneficial for an mm -hmm. artist or for yourself to stay independent rather than signing um, with a label? It kind of depends on your situation. If you ain't got a lot of money to push yourself and you're trying to be independent, and you might want to go the label route if labels is trying to holler at you. You know what I'm saying? But even even if they bend you over and give you the 360 and try yeah, to, and try to bad, ram you up? That, that's bad. If, if you get in that situation, uh, yeah, you might want to stay independent. But, you know what I'm saying? That's that's when you get your lawyers involved and all that type of stuff to make sure. But you're broke. You ain't got no lawyers. You're broke. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Hey, you got to come up with it. <laughs> you just get jammed up. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you, man. A lot, of guys, a lot of guys get jammed up. But, you know, it's not a laughing matter, even though we laugh. It's not a laughing matter. It's real serious. Cats get jammed up out there. Well, let's get into, let's get into another joint. We got, the, we got the joint paint on the wall. Paint on the wall. Now, how? Now, what was the concept behind this? Because you know that's that's a very unique name. A lot of yeah. people you hear that you don't really know what it's about. Yeah. So, just give give a little explanation about that song. I'm glad you asked me that because I want to tell people. Paint on the wall basically mean like you in a club, man. You doing a bid, and you walk in, you basically the shit. You okay, know what I'm saying you throwing that paint everywhere. Like, like look at me, nigga. Okay, you shitting on everybody. Okay, you throwing paint on the wall. That's basically what that means. For those who don't know. Now, is that a saying out there in Cali? That's, that, is that something, or is that something you made up yourself? <laughs> Actually. That's something you pointing, or how, how, what's, what's going on with that? Actually, my manager. My okay. manager say it a lot. Okay. Yeah, so we was in, we was like in a club one day, you know what I'm saying? We was throwing that paint. Okay. So we walk in, he like, we was throwing the paint on the wall. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> oh man, you know what I'm saying? That, that'd be a good track. Yeah. So... That night, I went and wrote the track. <laughs> Let's do it. Here you go. Paint on the wall. Let's do it. We got the boy Critical in the building. Yeah. Sirius XM Hip Hop Nation. DJ still DJ Envy. Nation Series XM, the boy Critical in the building. That was his joint, Paint on the Wall. Yeah. Critical, man. That's a, that's a hard joint. I like that. I like the concept behind it. I like, you know, what you're doing out here, man. You, 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 the, the few records that you that I heard from you was was uh, definitely official, man. You get the steel approved stamp, <laughs> the official stamp. You know what I mean? That's something uh, big for me to yeah, say. So. Too, man. It's big for me, too, because I feel real good, man. I feel like Real privileged, man, to sit here where where like a lot of greats can say that. And y'all didn't like I I I watched the interviews, yeah. I interview all big people, man. And yeah. It's like an honor for me to even sit here with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'm, we I'm appreciate that. Good. Appreciate that. So with, with that said, what do you do? Any you have any advice for any up and coming artists? You know what I mean? Oh, so right. so they could be sitting in that seat right right where you are right now. <laughs> no, that's real because you got a lot of people listening that are trying to out there trying to yeah. do their thing. You know what I'm saying? And they would appreciate the advice. So. You know, what do you got to say to him? Be serious about what you're doing. Be serious about your craft. You know what I'm saying? Go hard at everything you do. 
if you love this game and you love to do music, show it. Yeah. If you really love it, show it. Don't let nothing get in your way. Don't let nobody stop you. When people that's hating on you, you know what I'm saying? Use that as a push. Use that as a push if they hating on you. Don't let that hurt your feelings to where you don't want to make music no more or nothing like that when you know you good at making music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And basically just smash shit, man. And um, get out your city. If your city ain't popping for music, you got to go where it's at. You got to go where the hot spot's at because if there's nobody in your city that's that's really relevant and, and can really take you to the next level, it's pointless on staying in that city. You got to move around, man, and meet people and conversate. And you got to have a good team behind you, too. Okay. Yeah. I, I've known some artists to do that, like the homie Mims. Yeah. He took his joint... Um, what, what's that joint he had? The um, the This Is Why I'm Hot joint. Took yeah. it down south, got it popping, came yeah. back up here. Started popping And wound there. up making millions off yeah. the joint. That's so, yeah, sometimes that's a good way. So, yeah, man, so where, where can everybody find you? Yeah, y'all can go pick up my music on iTunes, CD Baby, all your online stores. Hit okay. me up on Facebook. So you got the music available yeah. for download, yep, for purchase. Yep, yep. That's nice. That's nice. What about the Twitter and the Instagram and all yep. that? Hit me up on Twitter at K-R-Y-T-Y-K-A-L. You know what I'm saying? Same thing for Instagram. Okay. It's going down. Okay, man. Well, yo, man. We appreciate, we appreciate you stopping through. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? All the way out from Cali. The homie okay. Critical. 916. I got a couple shout-outs I want to give. Yeah, well, go ahead. No more you know stuff, man. Shout, and, shout um, your people out. The last two songs that y'all heard, Complex the Champ made the beat. And um, we got another joint, brand new. I just did it tonight. Another producer that I work with, his name Pricey. He did that beat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And what's and, the name um, of that joint? Um, that's what I do. What I do. We're going to get that on in a little bit. We're going to get that on in a little bit. Uh, shout right. out to D-Foss, too. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Well, you know what it is. We're going to get back in the mix. The homie Critical in the building. And Jay Million. My Jay bad. Million. Hey, <laughs> keep them coming. Hey, man, I hear you. Shout your people out. Uh, you want to hear something? You know, we we always take the request. The Twitter's wide open at DJ Steel TV at DJ MV. Hit us up right now. It's Thursday Night Live. Let's work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.